I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Eppel. There's an old investor adage that says the markets have to climb the wall of worry. Well, that was certainly in effect today and actually what we've been seeing over the past little while. As we had today, a big rally, an upswing for stocks. With the TSX coming close to its all-time record high and one of the best days of the year on Wall Street. The catalyst? Commentary on U.S.-China trade negotiations. As the teams from both sides said that they are ready to actually have a face-to-face -face discussion on the trade issues. Early next month in Washington, the uh, China Ministry of Commerce and White House officials saying that they have had amicable talks behind the scenes. And this could set the stage for perhaps a, uh, well, diminishing risk on the trade file that has led to all sorts of volatility over the course of this summer on the financial markets. And yet, we have, for this year, the TSX up by close to 16%, again, close to its record. The NASDAQ up 22%, and the Dow Jones Industrials Average for 2019 up by 15%. That's pretty good. A couple of uh, tech companies doing some big deals in the automotive sector today. BlackBerry extending its collaboration with Jaguar to advance artificial intelligence and machine learning technology for automotive safety. This is through BlackBerry's QNX operating system. BlackBerry's share price up by 4% on Toronto trade today. And General Motors is inked to deal with Google that will integrate the uh, infotainment systems in General Motors vehicles in 2021 with voice assistance, Google apps and maps and navigation. Again, coming out in a couple of years time between the big tech giant and the automotive company. And WestJet today officially removed the still grounded Boeing 737 MAX jets from its Christmas and New Year's schedules, basically following the lead of Air Canada and Sunwing, as uh, they're saying they're basically being cautious because they don't know when that plane will be recertified. And even if it is before Christmas, they're going to uh, make other options to make sure that passengers get to their destinations with a uh, stable schedule through the all-important holiday season. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.